Let's take a look at this formation that the Oregon Ducks lined up in multiple times yesterday against UCLA. And hats off to uh, Mario Cristobal and his staff. Uh, goes to show that if your head coach is an offensive line coach, better be careful if you're playing them because they're going to work on schemes that favor the offensive line. And that's exactly what they did here. Yesterday they lined up multiple times in this unbalanced formation. And it happens to be a four-by-one set right here. And the second receiver, the number two receiver, number three, is ineligible. And this tackle on the backside, number 77, is eligible. They didn't take advantage of that in the pass game as much, but really had UCLA on their heels as far as uh, just trying to fit you know, the gaps and all that. In this particular play, they even bought the running back in motion, and it had everything – uh, to do with looking like a bubble to the back because you had all these blockers out here. Even though three wasn't eligible, doesn't change the fact that the numbers are bad for a bubble sweep out here, and UCLA had to respect that. But when the ball was snapped, they pulled the backside guard, they pulled the backside tight end, wrapped up on what was the safety because the uh, play side backer had uh, gone for the bubble sweep as well, and the quarterback took it on a weak side quarterback counter. Let's take a look at it. Once again, we'll, we'll hook this up from a standpoint of uh, in first down playbook directly to this. But you can see right there, everybody is headed over to the bubble. And uh, they take a look at it here on the uh, national broadcast from the end zone as well. So you can see everybody's taken off to the bubble unbalanced. Keep in mind, they have to cover number 77 right here if he were to release. And so really nobody home. Great job by Oregon. Great job by uh, Mario Cristobal and his staff.